is the Park Run Finishing Token Dispenser Mark V. If you're wanting to print this one, on th then the files on Thingiverse are all prefixed MK5, so you should be identifying the right files to do with the improved version. This version has been improved in a number of ways. Firstly, it's slightly taller, so it can take the bigger tokens, which are now starting to be used in some park runs. It also has a wider slit at the bottom, slightly wider, to take some of the thicker tokens that are emerging. And most importantly, it's got much more firmer supports that don't need to be glued in and those supports make the whole machine much stronger and it will make it much more resilient. So you'll need to print the main body, the block, four dowels and the lid. Before you start, make sure that all your support material is removed from the, from the um, body, particularly that in the uh, slit that's for the lid. To make sure it's really clean before you start to use it. Now I'm going to show you now how to assemble the Park Run token dispenser and also how to use it. You'll also need four bobbins suitable for a Brother sewing machine and also a 65 centimeter piece of elastic with these loops on the end. I've chosen to sew the loop. Some people tie them, but I think it looks quite a lot better if it's simply sewn. So to assemble the dispenser, I put one of these little dowels through each bobbin. And slot these in like so. These just slot in. You can glue these if you like, but be careful not to glue it so that the uh, bobbin doesn't go around freely. But it's printed so that they're quite sort of firm enough to stay in to the extent that they need to. To thread up the elastic, I put the elastic through here. Put it around the front uh, bobbins. Round the back ones and then secure it on there. And you can see here that there's no need to glue these uh, bobbin holders in place because they're just held in place by the elastic subsequently. Finally, take this uh, block and insert it uh, in there and there it's pretty much complete. To load the dispenser you can move this block right up to the back and hook it at the back there and now you can load tokens. A thing about tokens, in order for the dispenser to work properly a finishing token should, should uh, fall through just simply with the force of gravity. If that doesn't happen, then all you need to do is use sandpaper <clears throat> to uh, sand the inside of the slit to make it slightly larger and carry on doing that until your tokens fall through naturally. To load the machine, we place our tokens into the dispenser and then release the block to hold them in place. This one I reckon can take 140 tokens, but I know there are tokens out there that are thicker and not so many will fit in, so use your common sense. We've also got a lid that can fit on top to 
keep all your tokens uh, safe and sound. And now they can be removed from the dispenser. The trick is not to put too much pressure on the tokens. They simply slide out. And it's best to have a slightly damp finger in order to just give it a bit more uh, friction to push these tokens out. But it's quite possible to remove tokens quite easily right to the end. We've also got lids with different numbering on. So we can put the numbers pertaining to what uh, tokens are in the, each box so it's easy to identify. So if you do print one of these for your park run, I hope it works for you, I hope it's reliable uh, and I hope it will make your uh, park runs run much more smoothly. Thank you.